before I get into this article, I want this to be at the very top of this video, right? I want people that watch this video, this segment, whatever, to know my biases before we get into the subject matter. So what is the subject matter? Vermont school that boycotted game with trans player banned from tournaments. So what do I think about this? What are my opinions? First of all, it's a Christian school. I say this, there should be no such thing as Christian schools. You want to talk about grooming? I think telling children that are very impressionable um, and that don't really even know what Santa Claus is, that Jesus is watching them and that if they masturbate, they're going to go to hell forever and that if they're gay, they're going to go to hell forever. I think that's grooming. I also think it's genuinely evil to convince children that if they make a mistake that they're going to go to hell forever or they have to worship some fucking guy on a painting. That is evil. That is evil. And I'm going to say this. I genuinely believe, and this is with all, I'm not joking when I say this, I genuinely believe that if you are religious and you teach a child to also be religious, that should be a crime. That's my opinion. Now, you might say that that's extreme. I agree. It is extreme. I'm kind of an extreme person. I think if you want to allow religion to exist, which I'm open to, I don't necessarily want to ban religion, but if you want to allow re a religion to exist, you cannot groom children into believing in whatever you believe. I believe that we need to have a mandatory secular society. If a child is 18 years old and they look into the religion, you know, they should be free to pick them. Let's say a child is born in a Christian family, you know, and they're 18 and they study about all the religions and they, let's say they choose Islam, it's in their right. Let's say they choose Judaism, it's in their right. They can choose whatever religion they want that's fine with me. I don't mind. But teaching children to be religious when they are young, impressionable, and gullible, I think personally should be a crime. I think that that should be a crime. I consider that to be child abuse. That's part one of this story. Okay. Part two. If a school decides that they don't want to partake in a sport, because someone at a different school happens to be transgender, right? Fuck them. Fuck that school. Now, I say that school should be shut down. That's my opinion. Maybe the school should be shut down. Um, if they are using their platform as a school to engage in bigotry, they should be shut down. That's my opinion. Uh, but either way, those are my biases. Let's check this article out, get some details here. A Vermont school that refused to play against an opposing basketball team with a trans player won't be able to participate in future tournaments. The Vermont Principals Association announced on Monday, Mid-Vermont Christian School forfeited a game on 21 February in an out-of-state tournament against Long Trail School. Quote, we withdrew from the tournament because we believe playing blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read that garbage. The Vermont Principals Association, an organization that sponsors various school sport activities, ruled that the MCVS had violated its policies and will be ineligible to participate in future tournaments. Now, again, my opinion, the school should be shut down. There should be no such thing as a Christian school I believe that is a crime against humanity. If I were president and I had a magic wand, I would ban all forms of religious schooling. I would ban Sunday school. I would say, if you're not allowed, to, I would say this, you need to be over the age, let's say 16. You know, let's be a little fair, okay? But I, I personally say 18. If you are under the age of 18, you should not be allowed to walk into a church, temple, mosque, any of it. You should not be allowed to enter if you are under the age of 18. Why? It's indoctrination. That's my opinion. Fuck them, right? And again, if somebody does not support trans rights, they also should not be allowed to have any position of power, right? Again, would you want a racist to be in charge of whether or not black people are taught fairly and equally in school? No. In the same way, 
that you would not want a transphobic person to be in charge of who and who is not allowed to play, again, school sports. We're not talking about professional sports, motherfucker. And even in that case, I don't give a fuck about your conspiratorial garbage either. But we're talking about children playing sports for fun. They're playing sports for fun. They're having a fun time enjoying sports. Who the fuck gives a fuck if one player in the whole state, Vermont has like negative six people in it to begin with, one player, right, in the whole state is trans and therefore you're gonna fucking whip up a stink. I say this, consider with all due respect, which again, due respect in this instance means I have no respect for you, but consider maybe possibly to go fuck yourself. If you believe that trans people should be banned from sports, kids, we're, we're not, again, even if you're talking about professional sports, you're still wrong and you're still stupid. That said, we're talking about children playing motherfucking sports, dude. It's kids. Let kids be kids, right? Let kids bounce their balls around and fucking shoot balls into hoops or kick them into goals or, or th hit the fucking, you know, you have kickball, whatever the fuck, okay? Let them enjoy themselves. This idea of trying to torture a student because they're transgender and weaponizing your power as being a part of a scholastic institution to torture a child for no other reason than they are transgender, and then, by proxy, torturing every other student on that team or every other student at that school. That's ridiculous. And I say this, go fuck yourself. Okay, so with all that being said, let's continue. The VPA again reiterates its ongoing support of transgender student athletes as not only a part of building an inclusive community for each student to grow and thrive, but also as a clear expectation by Vermont state laws and the Agency of Education Best Practices and the VPA policy regarding transgender student athletes, the association said in a statement. That's basically just fancy legalese talk for how about suck my dick, bitch, we're letting the kid play basketball. Again, we're talking about school sports here. We're talking about children having fun playing sports. Why the fuck do you need to bring your religious conspiracy theories into children playing fucking kickball? Now again, basketball, whatever the fuck. I don't care. All sports are the same to me. You have a ball. You play with it in some way. You throw it either with your foot, your hand, whatever. You're having a ball and it goes somewhere else and you people pass the ball to each other. It's all the same, okay? Um, I know that's going to trigger people too, but hey. Um... The idea that religious conspiracy theories should be respected when it comes to children playing sports, to me, is a crime against humanity, right? People that go out of their way to weaponize their religion, to gain power and influence in social groups, and then use that power and influence to, again, further weaponize their religion against kids who are just trying to play kickball Again, if, if I was in charge of the world, they would be in jail. That's my opinion. But again, I'm not in charge of the world. But thankfully, uh, the Vermont Principal Association um, is making the right choice on this. Uh, but anyway, you can read the rest of this if you'd like. Um, I just want to, you know, this is going to be one of those things that's going to jump into the culture war, everybody. And, uh, you know, again... It's just a bunch of bogus fucking nonsense. Um, and it saddens me to see that this is the world that we live in where religious nut jobs, total fucking freaks, are weaponizing their long debunked conspiracy theories to torture children. That's fucked up. I say this, if anything is grooming, if we're going to have a national discourse around grooming, what is the largest institution that has groomed anybody? It's the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is the largest institution of groomers in the world, right? So I say, if we're going to talk about grooming, if we're going to talk about mistreating children in some fashion... Maybe this Christian school, so-called, should be where we turn our attention to. So, there you go.